Welcome on board again today, my wonderful audience, my viewers, subscribers, and a host of others. Thank you very much for being there, and thank you so much for always for your support and a host of other it is. On today's video, we are going to be learning on what it really takes to be a what? ODJ. Yes, that is a question that has run so much in the minds of so many individuals. So many people have asked me this question in my platform and a host of others. So, we are going to start from this beginning. What does it really take to be a DJ? Before you think of what it really takes to be a DJ, let's take a look at this video, this picture. Yes, from what you can clearly see, you first need to know that a DJ is an entertainer, somebody who gives life to an event, and you cannot do that if you don't invest so much in yourself to build yourself to that entertainer that people really look up to. So that at the end of the day, you yourself will be happy with yourself while the audience are also enjoying themselves. So, and it involves a lot of effort developing yourself and your skill as well as your equipment. So, before you go into the aspect of going so much, irrespective of the amount of money you want to invest on the equipment, you first need to know the following element. When you get this, it's going to be easier for you to flow along with the equipment. One, what it takes to be a DJ. First, you need to understand the music structure. The music is made in different genre, different pattern and a host of other. Two, you need to understand the behavior of your device, whether it is mobile, uh, laptop related, uh, controllers and a host of other. Then you develop your skill. When you know that, you help you to develop your skill on how to play around the device. Then you create your own signature. That is what you want people to know you with, whether you are very good in beat matching, scratching and a host of other. Then you practice. After practicing, then you promote your skills through social media and a host of other things. Let's go into it in detail. One, understanding the structure of music is very important. First, you need to understand that music are in different forms. We have different genre, Afrobeat, hip hop, reggae, and a host of other. So that is very, very important. It's going to also help you to know the intro of the song. So we have different aspects, the intro of a track and the outro. Where does the intro start? Like the case of this one we're having here, you can see from here to this point is the intro. Then at this point again, it's also the outro. outro outro of the song that is the where the song is ending then you need to understand that the song the waveform how does the waveform what really makes up the waveform the waveform is a product of beats and instrumentals as well as the vocals how the vocals are matched together so for you to know this after knowing all this that is song music is made up of these individual elements that are being put together you need to understand how to identify them. Like the case of this one, you see the case of this one, it starts with some low voices and maybe some low sounds. But the case of this one down here, you see that it starts with beat. So you can see the both the intro and the outro are also flowing along with a very good sense of beat. Then understanding this will also help you to be able to count the song. One, two, three, four, how many beats per minute, how many beats per second. All this is very important. Like the case of this one, we have 105. So this enables you to know the beat of the song and how which or which song will flow along with it as well as the key and other variables. We're not going to it in detail. So at the, this will also help you to set cue point. Like the case of this one, we can set the cue point of this one since you start at the beat. If we want to start with the beat, the case of this one, if we want to move with beat, we have to go to this point to start the beating. Then know the BPM as I've said. What play maybe in the event we want to play with the song, scratching, beat juggling and a host of other. So after knowing all this, the next thing you need to do is to understand the behavior of your DJ devices. These devices can be your amplifiers, your speakers and even your DJ equipment. In the aspect of your DJ equipment, you talk across either it is manual, analog, such as turntables, normal, serato, CDJs and a host of other. Or it has, it might be digital such as Windows related and software such as Serato Virtual DJ, ASIC Pro, or mobile apps such as Wii DJ and a host of other. So in knowing all these things, you need to understand how to use some of these things. If it is Serato, how do you connect it to your appliances? How do you get the kind of effect, the behavior you want, the output you want? As well as the as the one danger, one difficult aspect is when you are dealing with amplifiers that have delay, it also have a lot of effect on how you mix as well. Some DJs use earpiece. But it will be good for you to have amplifiers that are very strong enough to flow along with your movement so that you don't have conflict of sound from the output. So we also have virtual DJ. You would need to know the aspect of the mapping of the virtual DJ to get the kind of output you want just the way you see me do 
at a very at ease without any stress you also need to understand how acid pro maybe if you want to be an acid pro dj most of these dj that do mix and mix is available online most of them use acid pro the practical example let's say for the case of dj mellow shade dj wall these ones do mash up a lot so most of them use acid pro then we also have the wii dj these ones have mobile appliances so when you know all these ones and from there you begin to know what quality of equipment do you want to invest on which do you want to build your skill to some skills on and how do you want to do it that is the f- another aspect that is the second point the third point is you develop your skills in developing your skills you need to interact with people who have been in the business for years how do they do it how do they do certain things i've had people asking me things i've also asked people on how to do certain things i've learned so learning is a continuous process it doesn't end here you also need to understand how your audience behaves how do they react to your mix do you need to adjust do you need to improve that is also very important so you know all this will also help you so you now move to creating your own scratch routine your own signature and routines these routines can range from your drops such as talking about yourself did you so so did you so so we have samples such as the drum part samples uh, and also further we have dj effects such as big juggling uh, echo effect and host of other they are endless you also have if you know all this one you know how to create your own special routine from what we are seeing here so you have your scratch routine your beat matching how do you be juggling how you do you do that you create your own unique routine to entertain your audience so that you also have something to offer you also have to enjoy what you are what you are doing and not forgetting that you practice while practicing you try to make it in a way that you have fun that is at your own time you do it toward perfection it mustn't be when they call you that is when you begin to think of it you imagine the output how it will look like then you try it try new patterns have fun sample drums playing drums how do you play the drum just the way you see me do some things are not just being learned overnight you do it over if it, if you want to be a hyping dj while you are doing it you're hyping your audience good and fine you also have big matching big juggling so after doing all that after you develop your skill to that certain stage where you have become so good in it you can also promote your your skills on social media so that people will get to know that this is what you have to offer it can be through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and a host of other. Because in our present day world, if people want to invite you to an event, there are such possibilities that they will want to see what you have to offer your social media. So you also do that. You can also go through attending shows, playing at events. So by doing that, people will get to know that this is the services you have to offer and how good you are in it. So in doing all this, it doesn't end there. You also go further by updating your skills such as your equipment your speakers your amplifiers your mapping files that is the mapping here this one some of these things especially the case of the mapping is not something you learn overnight i have gone as far as learning programming just to be able to be, to be good in this aspect of mapping so you can go as far as learning graphic design maybe for this case maybe you want to create very good thumbnails about yourself on the social media updating your plugins as well as your dj's software skins and as well as playlists Playlist sometimes can be very difficult, especially when you don't have good knowledge of structure of song. But by knowing that, it helps you to build a very good quality playlist. That is why if you see my mix, I think so far on the social media, I've been consistent in making my mix as well as the playlist readily available for people to learn from. So that if you want to build, you can build on it, you mustn't be. And the issue of the mapping is so important that that is why I don't always make my mapping available on the social media like when I started. But with time, I'm going to create a unique way to make it available. While, even while I'm updating it, I'm going to be informing my audience. Because if you don't understand it, even if I give you my mapping, it's going to be difficult for you to use it. So understanding how I use it is also very important. But when you understand how it works, it helps you to build your own unique style. So that you create a button based on how fast you want it or how you want to go about it. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, as well as share. And keep a date with me so that you continue to learn more the learning process is endless we will continue to give you more thank you very much these are samples of some dj equipment where you have your laptop your system here and the whole host as well as the controller so if you look at let me show you another one this another one this one that will be explaining something about this one this one is so important that you need to understand that as a dj you are playing two devices at the same time playing music on two devices while your mixer is at the middle that is what the entire dj concept is all about so 
your understanding of this thing will enable you to flow along with the device very well how you match it how you match the song how you play around with it you do your drops so there are a host of other videos that will be coming your way too from me and there are a lot i've made a lot of content too that have gone viral for people to learn so in summary this is a summary what it is to be a teacher understanding your music structure understanding the behavior of your device develop your skills by watching others or attending event create your signature and routine practice build perfection then promote your skills thank you very much for being there thank you for always being there and i so much appreciate you keep a date with me and don't forget to like subscribe follow and we are already there let's let's enjoy the sound thank you very much peace out <laughs>